You're watching. Watching. Wolf. React. Wolf. Reacts. Wolf. Reacts. TV. Chia. Perfect. What's good, Wolf? Can we back with another reaction? Yo, we got Death Battle, man. This will be my first time reacting to Death Battle. I've seen a couple before. I love what they do. Amazing. Uh, I'm a huge anime comic book fan as well. Huge, huge anime fan. But um, yeah, this is my first, first time reacting to Death Battle. Um, and this is Harley Quinn and Jinx. This is gonna be tough. This is Batman versus League of Legends. This is gonna be tough. Um, I want everybody to drop who they think is gonna win. If you haven't seen the video yet, um, I'm I'm gonna have to go with Harley Quinn because she possessed the same type of capabilities as Jinx when it comes to, um, weapon wielding and stuff like that. But what I can say is that. Depending on the type of Harley Quinn we get in anyway, you know, comic books, different type of Harley Quinn. Um, if we get the one that's immune to toxin, um, then Jinx can't use anything like that to stop her. But also, I believe that Jinx becomes too irrational sometimes and too impulsive. And I think Harley Quinn is low-key, has a super high IQ, super, super high IQ. So it was like... She's going to take that. I think that's going to be her advantage, her IQ and being able to be super calm at time because she's also impulsive, but she could be calm while Jinx would just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, man, this is going to be dope. So, any further ado, I'll hop right on into this. Let's get it. Tired of only being able to wear your cosplay around the house? I know I'm not, but in case you are, come join your fellow cosplayers and super fans this July at RTX Austin. RTX Austin takes the best in podcasting, gaming, and animation and brings it all to Austin, Texas for one unforgettable weekend. Of course, health and safety is our number one priority. Masks will be required during the event and we will follow. Now are you going to skip through? For our and today. Death Battle! Harley Quinn, DC's fantabulous anti-hero. Jinx, the loose cannon of League of Legends. We live in a society that adheres to strict laws and norms, but these two ladies turn that system on its head with their wild enthusiasm for destruction and uh -huh. chaos. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. He's gonna be crazy. Born to a middle-class family in the heart of Brooklyn, USA, Harleen Quinzel had long lived a life of mediocrity. She had embarrassing parents, annoying siblings, and a high school life that sucked. Even more than, like, the normal ones. She never quite felt like she fit in anywhere. But despite this, Harleen knew she was destined for greatness. So, inspired by a childhood crush turned psychotic murderer, Harleen spent years training to be a world-renowned criminal psychiatrist, eventually mm -hmm. traveling to Gotham City's infamous Arkham Asylum to research the most dangerous criminal. People forget how smart Harley Quinn is, bruh. She is really, really, really smart. She's like crazy smart, like legit both. <laughs> it's crazy. ...on the planet, like Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker. Joker. But after analyzing the Joker and his horrific, unspeakable history as a homicidal clown and Jared Leto, she came to realize one truth. The Joker was actually a misunderstood angel squashed down by an unjust society and wrongfully harassed by that son of a bitch Batman. This was the first of the Joker's many manipulations, leading Harleen to see a warped reflection of herself through him, culminating in her breaking him out of prison, bleaching her skin via chemical vat baptism, and joining him on his life of crime, descending into love like madness and reborn as the fantastic Harley Quinn. And she was packing plenty of tools of maniacal mayhem, including her iconic hammer, electric buzzers, and bombs of all shapes and sizes, like the dreaded banana cream pie, the most evil of all pie flavors. <laughs> if she wants to get around quickly, she can use her handy dandy pogo stick, which she straps rockets to. That doesn't seem safe. Speaking of unsafe. Yo, Harley Quinn. <laughs> I pause at the right moment. Why? Why? He <laughs> it looked like he's mimicking Harley Quinn, but also he had the same exact colors as Robin. That's my Robin. 
Slash Nightway and Flash are my two favorite um, DC characters. Um, but yeah, bro, like this girl's insane, like legit insane in the weapon and even her hand to hand com- combat. Her CQC is ridiculous too. And it's like, I think it kind of get overshadowed in the beginning because you know, Joker and shit, but. Now it was coming out how how like a badass Harley Quinn is for real, man. Yeah, I, I got Harley Quinn on this one. Hey, Harley's most versatile tool is her pop gun, a rotating revolver with special ammo rounds, like a boxing glove. Whoa, whoa, whoa. close one. And binding confetti. <laughs> and did I mention explosive rounds? Which oh, no, no. Ah, my leg is gone. Oh, oh no, oh, wait, there he was. I'm fine. Ooh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Harley combines her arsenal with unparalleled gymnastic skills, making her far deadlier than your average criminal. She can even keep up with experts like Deadshot and Catwoman, even Batman at times. The mm-hmm. peak human superhero that can dodge lightning and survive this alien device exploding, which obliterated multiple city blocks. Yeah, I think that's stretching the term peak human just a bit. But hey, he's the goddamn Batman, so. We'll allow it. Unfortunately for Harley, despite her unwavering loyalty to the Joker, their honeymoon period did not last. He spent years abusing her, physically and emotionally, tearing her down piece by piece. Then when he got bored, he strapped her to a freaking rocket and launched her halfway across Gotham City. Guess that's one way to say, no, no, it's not you, it's me. (laughs) Harley was left alone in the wreckage, abandoned by the one person she dedicated Oh yeah, so that's the one they're using, the toxin immunity. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, the healing factor and her IQ le- I yeah. I'm I'm sticking with it. I got Harley Quinn. Did her entire life to until fellow villain Poison Ivy came by. She nursed Harley back to health, literally healing her from a damaged relationship. Ivy even gave Harley a chemical concoction that granted her superhuman strength and a healing factor. I suppose a healthy relationship can sometimes feel like your own superpower in and of itself. Yeah, and those two definitely seem like very good friends. Wink! With that new Harley show, too, it's pretty dope. It's really, really good. It's, it's, that's the Harley I think we actually needed. That one and one from Suicide Squad as well. Both of those, um different type of Harleys. I think that is like the best type of Harley we we've gotten to showcase her her powers, her um intelligence and all of that. I think it's dope. It's good. Ivy at her side, Harley went on to rebuild herself as a famous anti-hero, leading teams like the Gotham Sirens and Suicide Squad. She worked on developing new skills built around her own strengths rather than that of her past. Like learning to use her lifelong knowledge of psychoanalysis to manipulate her foes mid-combat. And creating tons of her own chemical concoctions, like tranquilizers and sleeping gases that can incapacitate medic humans. She even reverse engineered her former flame's trademark Joker Venom. This deadly substance excites the laughter centers in a person's brain and forces them to laugh until they They suffocate. Harley was clearly on top of the world, but nothing caps off self-improvement like a Rocky Balboa training montage. So Harley went to Themyscira of all places to get a combat internship with the Amazons, just like her favorite is superhero, Wonder Woman. And imagine going from bashing random goons in Gotham to fighting alongside immortal warrior goddesses. She became agile enough to jump between skys- I never knew her favorite superhero was Wonder Woman. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty crazy. That's insane. Grapers and strong enough to rip an entire palm tree out of the ground with her bare hands. Based on the size of the tree and the weight of an average palm by foot, that weighs about 600 pounds. And she can hold it one-handed, so her actual strength is probably at least twice as much. Enough to lift a full-grown brown bear and throw it like a ragdoll. Hell, her skills advanced so far, she was appointed a herald on the war world Apocalypse. You know, the planet ruled by the living embodiment of evil? Even the actual personification of the DC editorial staff likes to call her in to help with tough jams. As the years went on, Harley surprised literally everyone by transitioning from supervillain to superhero. She partnered up with other heroes, became a psychiatrist again, and legitimately started helping other vigilantes with trauma, like Jason Todd, who definitely needed that. Hey, we ain't gonna take no type of disrespect to Jason Todd, bruh. None of the Robins. None of them. No type of disrespect. We gonna leave my dog alone. 
Let's get it. In fact, the Bat family she used to antagonize and ridicule eventually accepted her as kind of an extended member of their group, teaming up with her to save Gotham from her toxic ex. Good for her. Guess we're not going to talk about it when she went back to the Joker a couple times, huh? In of the course. end, she may be a little nutty, but you'd be mad not to love Harley Quinn. Time for Jinx! The world of Rune Terra is a wondrous fantasy land of advanced technology, arcane magics, and legendary champions. But on its north. If y'all have not seen the Netflix series, y'all have to watch it. Y'all have to watch it. Like, I'm not a big fan of League of Legends, but that series was raw as shit. That joke was so good. It was so good, man. Let's get it. Northern Shores are two cities locked in political turmoil. For decades, Piltover's rich elite have exploited the undercity of Zaun, forcing workers into unsafe conditions and brutalizing the populace with terrifying police powder, enforcers. Powder. Oh, so like New Jersey. You could have just said New Jersey. Until one day, a <laughs> wild loose cannon would literally explode onto the scene. She gave those uptight topsiders a taste of their own medicine, menacing its people with bombs, gunfire, and even more bombs. This was Jinx. Jinx destroyed Zeppelins, jumanji the shit out of the local zoo, and <gasps> switched the street signs! What a monster! Now those monkeys will never find their way back! Only the enforcer, Violet, could hope to stop her. But even armed with massive gauntlets weighing over 4,000 pounds each, Vi could not definitively overcome Jinx's magnificent arsenal of mechanical monstrosities. Man, they're so evenly matched, it's almost like they're uh, related! <laughs> Anyway, Jinx can burst open oh, birds with her trusty zapper shock pistol, turn enemies to Swiss cheese with her pow pow minigun, and blow bad guys to bits with her flame chomper grenades. But Jinx's favorite weapon is her fishbones rocket. Yeah, that same grenade and shit that killed all her homies. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like Harley Quinn been through all of this already. Like, it's gonna take so much to stop her when it comes to this. I don't know, we gonna, we gonna have to see. Cause once Harley Quinn get get to that CQC, that close range, I don't think Jinx got it, bruh. The, the, that that minigun is long range, grenades, long range, rocket launcher, long range, you know what I'm saying? So let's go. Rocket launcher. So much so she rides it like a rocket powered pogo stick. Well, that seems even less safe. Well, don't let her manic attitude fool you. Not only is Jinx tough enough to take a hit from Brom, a guy who can shake mountains with a punch, but she's wicked smart. Almost all her gear is custom made. She's even recreated Hextech, funky science powered by magic crystals. Ooh. Including her handheld teleportation device. Oh, my bad. Is that League of Legends? What a coincidence. Oh, no. Hold the phone. Are, are you talking about League of Legends over there? I love that game. I've got in more than 10,000 hours just in our college days, huh, buddy? <laughs> They low key did like a feature with themselves, a feature in a. <laughs> this is dope. Oh man! League of Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena game forged in the flames of LAN parties and salty gamer tears. Oh! And as any professional will tell you, to play the game well, you need to min max your character's loadout with the best possible items. They have the worst mistake you can make is being new. God, it's the midterms all over again. No, Boomstick, stay in your lane. What are you doing in the jungle? Stop it, feeder. Jinx's ideal loadouts include Phantom Dancer, so she can phase through objects after landing a blow. <laughs> I'd like to they phase out of promo. this conversation. Then there's the Quicksilver Sash, which protects her from status effects like sleep, paralysis, and poison. This includes forced actions, which make you do things you don't want to do. Hey, Boom, you want to pop into a match with your old Teemo from back in the day? I can set it up right now. How about we move on to Arcane before I A-ram my foot up your ass? Aww. <laughs> so, there's more to Jinx than what the main games depict. Before her infamous tomfoolery, most people around Zaun knew her as an innocent young tinkerer named Powder. Like pretty much everyone in the Undercity, Powder had it rough. She lost her parents in a conflict with enforcers, but had a bit of luck when she joined this cool foster family along with Vi, who was, gasp, her sister all along! If you're wondering what put soap in their opera, Vi was a total badass, mm -hmm. and Powder was desperate to also prove herself to her newfound family. And then, she made a mistake. Seemingly abandoned, Powder was left in the hands of the most notorious drug kingpin around. 
Silco was not the father she needed, but the one she wanted, teaching her to turn her perceived weaknesses into her greatest strengths. Thus, she became Jinx. Even yeah, their relationship at first on the show, uh, a little suspect. <laughs> a little, you know, just, a little, a little suspect. When the sisters reunited years later, they couldn't fully reconcile, setting up the game of cat and mouse in the game. Jinx was an excellent <laughs> rival, able to keep up with other skilled warriors like the bullet dodging Echo and survive the worst of Zon's toxic environments which can kill normal people in minutes. After a near fatal explosion, she was also infused with Shimmer, a toxic strength and speed enhancing drug that permanently altered her body's biochemistry. Oh yeah, I got about that. side effects intensified her prior trauma, mm -hmm. making her much more unhinged and prone to attacking with lethal intent, inspiring her ultimate weapon, the Super Mega Death Rocket. This baby's been powered by both Hextech and it's even more volatile. When she shot that Yo, I was shocked. I ain't trying to spoil it for anybody, but when she shot that bit, I was shocked. That was crazy. I mean, I guess if you use something like that on Harley Quinn, <laughs> I, I, I guess she gonna die. <laughs> you feel me? Like she don't wipe what? Oh man, that's good. Little cousin Chemtech. That's even more explosive. I forgot how much I appreciated the explodey options. Anyway. Both Hextech and Chemtech are comparable in power to natural magic. On par with what a badass mage like Lux is able to cast, such as Lucent Singularity, which can totally body these big ol' rocks. Measuring their width with Lux's height, we can determine she destroyed almost 13,000 tons of rock from 30 meters away. Promotional trailers show Mega Death Rocket matching the speed and power of Lux's final spark, a much more powerful attack that fires a Kamehameha of natural light. So her rocket is not only Kamehameha. super strong, but super fast from powder to gunpowder silco couldn't be prouder but her violet streak grew grim until the day she met a particularly explosive yordle ziggs bonded with her over their mutual passion for destruction but his was more tempered control thanks to his wisdom jinx learned a little bit of restraint when it came to exploding things of a more fleshy nature helping her tone down the wanton violence and recover some of her mental stability like he's some kind of feline brand jiminy cricket and despite being on opposite sides of the bridge jinx and vi remain sisters ultimately still caring about each other in their own way even if they were at odds more often than not though you better believe that when things get boring and uptight Jinx will be there to shake things up. Big facts. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships are hard and out of your skip, way. Skip, skip, skip. Whether skip, so skip, therapy that's skip, on skip, skip, on skip. At BetterHelp, skip, LP. skip. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data Let's for all possibilities. It. It's time for a death battle. Let's get it. <laughs> Harley. <laughs> Can they say these games are rigged? What? Screw you, you emo pigeon! I'll show you a murder! <laughs> Her split personality disorder is ridiculous. And on top of that, she's already low key, like a psycho in her way. All the trauma she deal with and all that, but dang. She works at Harley, I ain't gonna lie. Let's get it. Oh, I just love exploding stuff. <laughs> ha, I like exploding stuff too. Why don't I start with your head? This 
is a great battle. This is a great, great battle. They both crazy as shit. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Yo, y'all killed this. Y'all really killed this. Down to the commentary, down to everything that the the likeliness, not just just the action and their um their abilities. It's down to like, like I said, like certain things they'll say, certain little you know like the zoom in part, the little humor thing. Like y'all, this is how you know people done their research for real, man. This is dope. This is so dope. <laughs> Sorry, though, you do that. To make up for it, I got you some nice perfume. Smells <laughs> like. trigger her worse like they that that actually enhance all her abilities now that's crazy that's 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 a dope way of putting it too i am a doctor and you ain't crazy you don't have that same smile <laughs> you don't need a second opinion <laughs> Wait, don't you want to get in close and savor my emotions as you deliver the final kill? Hmm, nah, bye. <laughs> Damn, that was tough. That was don't tough. Just stand there, Jigs. You just want a free teddy bear. What if it's Timbers? This was a complicated fight with far more factors to consider than at first blush. Harley had more direct combat experience against superpowered beings, along with better training. But Jinx's physical power, diabolical weaponry, and assortment of items were just enough to roast this Harlequin duck. While Harley lifting over 1,200 pounds is impressive, Jinx can compete with Vi whose gauntlets weigh eight times that in the game. And Jinx can take hits from a guy who can shake mountains, a bit beyond Harley's level of strength. Harley may have been more naturally acrobatic, but Jinx's hextech and intangibility match and outclass that mobility. The mm. teleporting tablet alone could control the entire fight, since Jinx could send herself or Harley just about anywhere. And while Harley <laughs> had a moderate healing factor, she's never regenerated entire body parts before, nice. so a big enough kaboom would definitely kill her. And Jinx's weapons were strong enough to do just that. In order to destroy over 13,000 tons of rock from such a distance, Lux's magic explosion would need a yield of about 20 kilotons of TNT. That was a good ass battle, I ain't gonna lie. That was a good ass battle. And I, I, yeah, I already knew it was gonna be a nice battle, but I thought, I thought Harley Quinn was gonna top it off. I, <laughs> I think I low key forgot how crazy Jinx is and how certain things can trigger her super, um, her superhuman abilities.
And Jinx's Hextech and Chemtech are similar to Lux's magic in speed and power. Even if we scale Harley's durability to Batman surviving this massive explosion, the potency of Jinx's weaponry outpaces it more than 300 times. Sure, mm. Harley is legitimately intelligent, but so is Jinx, as evidenced by her inventions and routinely outwitting Vi and her task force. Plus, Jinx is typically distrusting of people she's just met, so Harley's potential <laughs> mind games were likely to fall on skeptical ears. Jinx was much more likely to shoot first and ask questions later. Now, Harley still had her wide array of poisons and chemical agents, like the Joker Venom, which would kill most opponents in minutes. However, after living her whole life in the toxic cesspool of Zahn, her tolerance for poisons is clearly much higher than a normal mm. person. Not to mention, the Quicksilver Sash could simply end any unwanted effect on her. Ultimately, Harley couldn't stand up to Jinx's physical power, superior technology, or overwhelmingly explosive arsenal. Harley clowned around only to get her <laughs> bell rung by someone out of her league. The winner is Jinx. Jinx. That was dope. Death Battle is back and we've launched a- That was dope. They, they, they definitely, definitely killed this for sure, man. Shout out to them for real. Death Battle, y'all boys. Y'all be coming through. Y'all be coming through for real. That was a great battle. Great, great, great battle. Um, Beautiful two people to put up against each other. Like, for real. Both intelligent, both crazy. Well, one way crazy than the other one. Um, but yeah, nah, that's a dope, dope, like, duo to go against each other. Like, great matchup. Great matchup. But yeah, I'm trying to do more death battles. Um, Like I said, I've seen a good amount. This is my first, first time ever reacting to it. Um, I'm going to try to start making it a thing for sure, man. For sure. Especially when it comes to characters that I like. Got to make it a thing. So, man, that's it for the reaction. You know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, share. Wolf out.